1856, Lackawanna, New York, like all Great Lake cities, was thriving. Jobs everywhere, money everywhere, steel plants, railroads, grain mills, the docks. Everybody had a new car and a conch. Nanny, seeing what a colored person could have if they just worked hard, rushed back to Farmville, Virginia, her hometown, to bring more of her family up north. Nanny would provide their food, shelter, even clothing. Nanny was like the government if it really worked. <laughs> I have seen or heard stories about Nanny's goodness that stretched beyond reason. That raccoon that Nanny found on the side of the road, she raised him up until he got so big and stubborn that she had to take him out to the woods and let him go. You see, the raccoon had gotten to a habit of climbing up on top of the refrigerator and screaming and bobbing up and down until Nanny would fix his breakfast. <laughs> Always two eggs scrambled soft with toast. <laughs> now, you know you can't leave that child in the room by himself. Nanny, I said, that, why don't you leave him with me when you go to work and come fetch him in the morning when you get up? That way you ain't got to worry about him and I ain't got to worry about him. And this is where my journey with Nanny began. You a breath of fresh air to me, boy and we gonna always be together. Cause you, my baby. We straight? That's just who she was. Well done. <laughs>